Everybody, this is Smirk to Malgren here on my Archer Soul Warden. Um, if you guys saw my other video with Soul Siphon, it's my alt archer. This is my main archer. I've been playing him since beta. Um, my sets right now are Automaton. Gives you weapon damage and then 400 more weapon damage for your physical damage abilities. Celtrix gives you pretty much raw damage and then it gives you that almost 7,000 AOE that uh, does a massive stun. Um, and then Morotong gives you more weapon damage and then increases your poison damage. I really only use that four piece of Morotong until they actually made it to where you can do now two five pieces and then that uh, yeah, was weird. Um, but I'll take it. I'll take that increase of damage, but uh, I don't know if my set's probably still the most viable, but it, it still works pretty good though. Um, to give you guys a show of what my damage output is, I'll, uh, I got my little house here, a little humble home, my little target dummy. Let's uh, buff up, drop a trap. Murder this thing. Down all eh. A little bit under 30,000 damage with just my bow and a trap. So, 30,000 damage per second, which is not bad. Um, and yeah, I... I can two shot anybody who doesn't have uh, heavy armor on. Or well, they're not massively buffed up with shields on or anything like that. But if someone's riding by and they have cloth armor, they're going to get two shot. Uh, my spec. Again, I showed you my gear just now. But um, poison injection, focus aim, and I don't know if you guys saw my enchant. It's a sharpen for penetration. I have penetration uh, for my snipe, piercing mark for more penetration, and then uh, my fighter skill abilities and piercing mark. I have all those in my bar, mainly for the passives. Passive right here, 2191 weapon crit. Um, you get uh, the passive for the assassins um, by having that equipped. Assassin guilds, passives, uh, weapon uh, crit ratings go up by 438 for each assassin thing slotted. Um, and then oh, there was another one. Anyways, pretty much you want to have your assassin stuff s slotted because then it boosts your, your damage output essentially. Shadow, it kind of makes you survive more, and so does siphoning. But assassin, if you're looking for damage output, assassin's uh, passive is where it's at. Um, a vampire, again, you want to be a vampire if you're going to be an archer. Dark soccer ignores the uh, vampire, or ignores um, uh, the stealth slowness so you pretty much run as fast as you do on stealth like look how fast I am on stealth as the stealth it's the same speed so you definitely want to be a vampire if you're an archer because you shoot somebody and it was like a bad shot and you're like oh my god he didn't take any damage you're gonna want to get out of there so you're just gonna vanish and then run on the other side of the battlefield Wait like three or four seconds, you can cast it again. Wait three or four seconds, and you can cast it again. And I don't, you don't have to build what what I build, um, because I built for zero region, so I have all weapon damage on my rings, um, and necklace. So I have like no regeneration. But if you have any type of magic or regeneration, you can pretty much keep spamming still. Um, yeah, let's get right to it. Um, traps. I'm a big trap fan. Uh, as a pure archer, I kind of need traps. 
So I like I defend myself and objectives with my traps, and then I s fight near them. And then if someone tries to ch kill me, then they will hit my fear traps, two fear traps, and then a bear trap. Get feared, and then I just keep sniping, or I run, depending on like what class they are and how boss they are. Um, you can have a real bad problem with dragon knights if they have the little um, reflect uh, bolt bat wings going on. That's just a pain. And then sh sword and shield users, if they have their uh, reflect ults, that's a pain too. Um, but non DKs should be fun. DKs are by far the worst. You just gotta pray they don't have the bat swarm on or they don't have the resources to keep doing it. If they do do it, just live Zach three times to burn it off, and then start bursting again. You might have to vanish and run. Um, my buff bar, so we have the Manifestation Terror for the two Shadow Clones. Um, Relentless Focus, again it boosts your stamina recovery and your damage output. Heal, heal, and if you're... Um, a nine blade, you kind of have to have this, especially if you're an archer. You're dead. I mean, if you don't have this on your bar and you're an archer, you're gonna die a lot. Um, yeah, that's pretty much my build. There's a lot of things you can use instead. Like you could have that knockback shot. You could have more of your assassin abilities, like really let's focus on this bar and swap something out. It all depends, like what you like to have in your bars. Um, I've fought with the shadow clones. These little guys spawn to the shadow clones. They're actually pretty cool. Um, they reduce damage to you, and they you can vanish, and it kind of confuses people. Um, but let's look at my jam point real fast, so you guys can see how I'm specting here. Break free, siphoning strikes, stamina regen, health recovery, magic recovery, um, more stamina regen. Rolling, because you have to have roll if you're going to PvP. Um, and I just try to spec into single target as much as possible with my points. And then just a standard resist. And the leftover, I just put it in recovery. And then light and heavy attacks. Alright, yeah, if you have any questions, um, check out my videos of my fight style if you're kind of curious on how I use the stuff to uh, kill people. Um, but yeah, like if you liked the video, and then check out my videos, or please put a comment if you always want to uh, know anything else. Alright, later.